Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. Today is going to be another exciting video on antifreeze and coolant. What this is we're holding here is the Creme du Sali El du Creme. The best own the best. And this is uh, what I personally use in my vehicles. So here we got the 59 Putty Cat. If you're not familiar with her, get familiar with her. Check out this video up here in the corner. We got about I think we're at 30 videos on her. She's been uh, hard to get in the beginning, but now we got her all dialed in. So now she's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Speaking of that, this is almost like a lemon colored coolant. Uh, it's biodegradable, pet friendly, not gonna uh, kill the animals the same way as the regular coolant. Believe it or not, the regular coolant actually tastes sweet to animals and animals actually will continue to lick it up and it actually can burst their insides. So definitely watch out with the OEM coolants. Uh, just do some due diligence, check out what you're using. Now this right here, why I like it so much, it's a concentrate and it's called polypropylene glycol. And it's a uh, good for a super long time on extended drain intervals. And since it's a concentrate, you actually mix distilled water to make it whatever ratio you want. So all you do is get the distilled water. Distilled water, if you don't know, has no minerals in it. So it's not going to calcify. It's not going to have any frequency issues with metals in the, in the coolant. So it won't have any issues with your motor. So I highly, highly recommend uh, trying this. If you're ready for a coolant change, you'll be surprised. I'll never forget when I first tried it on my C5 Corvette. Then we did my 59 Putty Cat. And we also did the SL550 over here. And this is my personal car. And uh, I love the car. And it actually transformed quite a bit when we actually did the uh, coolant on that car. Big surprise, especially with the intercooler fluid. So a lot of people think intercooler fluid is special uh, for turbos and it's not. It's actually just antifreeze and coolant, which you'll see the video up here in the corner. We did that on my SL550. And I tell you what, that thing made the biggest difference of anything I've done in that car. And I'll tell you why. We actually switched uh, the, uh, the ratio from 50-50 to uh, about 66% uh, constant, 66% uh, distilled water, 33% coolant concentrate. Now, coolant concentrate has a specific heat capacity of about 0.6, and this has a specific heat capacity of about one, and that's standard. Water is one, and it has a much higher capacity to hold this heat. Well, when you hold the heat, you can actually pull it out of the aluminum, you can pull it out of the radiator and you have this better heat transfer. So believe it or not, you wanna run distilled water, but if you live where it's really cold, you'd wanna run 60% concentrate, and you're gonna be good to negative 59.9 degrees Fahrenheit, basically 60 degrees below zero. So that's gonna cover you for most places. Um, so you just run 60% this, 40% distilled water. So for me here in Las Vegas, it doesn't get very cold. So I run 33% concentrate and I'll let you know exactly what that is. 30% would put you at about eight degrees. 33% would be right there at about one or two degrees. So my cars are, are not gonna freeze until one degree out here in Vegas. It doesn't, it just doesn't get there. It gets to maybe 28 degrees, 25. Uh, so I don't have anything to worry about, but if you forget about it, you could damage your car. So definitely be sure you're mixing it to the proper spec. And if you move somewhere, make sure you update that. So I love this so much because it meets and exceeds all the heavy duty specifications, like the diesel trucks, the 18 wheelers, Cummins, Freightliner, Peterbilt, Pack Car. I mean, these are all the big trucks. So if it meets that, you can run this in basically every single type of car no matter what your car is, you can use this. Now it's preferable to get as much of the old stuff out. You just don't want to mix it a lot with a lot of old coolant. So say you got 95% of it out and there's only 5% of the old stuff in, you're going to be fine. Um, and you can even top off your coolant with this. It's not like it's going to hurt your motor. It's not going to clog up or clot, nothing like that. Um, the only thing you couldn't add this to is like a waterless coolant like Evans Cool. That's specifically for like classic cars or specific applications. That's the only thing you're not gonna be obviously adding any water or booster or anything to. And speaking of booster, we're gonna wrap right into the Dominator Coolant Boost. This is uh, one of my favorites. 
And why I like this so much is this is something anyone can add to their car. All you do is just whoop, pop the top, put it right in your radiator. Obviously you wanna do it when the car is cool. And this right here lowers your operating temperatures up to 25%. But the best part isn't lowering the operating temperature. The best part is getting your car to warm up faster. And uh, that's what I love so much about this. This actually, uh, in a test you'll see in the description section below, you can get all these products. If you click the, the reverse down arrow, if you're on a smartphone, you'll see it all down there. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, click show more and you'll see all my links to the products. It'll give me credit when you order. And this is what I do about 70 hours a week, full time. This is all I do is the AMSOIL and I love helping people. And uh, on the channel, we've saved people well over $10 million now on uh, engines, transmissions, and differentials. And that's of personal people I've touched out of people all over the rest of the world that watch me on YouTube. It's gotta be a lot more because I know I have a lot of people that watch in all France, Italy, Spain, New Zealand, Canada, Mexico, Venezuela, Brazil, Vietnam, uh, Monte Carlo, wherever that is, Switzerland, all these different places. Now, enough of that. Um, but yeah, this is so easy to use. All the directions are on the back and you can add this to the coolant that's already in your car. So if you have a car and you don't want to change it, you don't have to, you can add this. Your car will warm up a lot quicker. Your heater core will have a higher heat transfer. You'll have better hotter air coming out of your vents. So if you're cold in the winter, super cold, that's the stuff to get. And now we're on to what I mentioned about giving back. This is the snap-on tool kit that's getting given away. These are going each person, one person's gonna win a ratchet, another person's gonna win a ratchet, another person's gonna win the set. The set is about 500 bucks. These are about a buck 50 a piece. And these are the best of the best. That's all we give away. And that's all we promote on the channel. We don't do any cheapies. Um, we just simply don't do it. The $100 gift cards we give away uh, which we're going to be doing a thousand dollars of hundred dollar gift cards and evens end of month giveaway December 25th at 11 a.m. So remember to leave that comment. That's your ticket into the giveaway and I randomly go down and select people uh, from all over and uh, that's how you get in to win and it's exciting. I mean, I really enjoy giving back and uh, it's great because we've had so much good reciprocation. I'm uh, able to get enough uh, good uh, action on the channel that I'm able to basically give back and, and that's exactly what I love to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing coming up. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap that notification bell. You'll get a little buzz on your phone when uh, my new video gets published. And we got a bunch of videos with this coolant, me installing it on my car, the other car, that's all in this playlist right here. Check out this playlist on diesel trucks too. We also got my personal car here, and this is the subscribe icon, and we will see you back next time, right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.